this video we'll be calculating the field at a point at an internal point okay at a distance some small r away from the center of a uniform solid sphere so uniform means that the density of this sphere is constant okay and the sphere so solid sphere has a mass m and radius r okay so we first start off by constructing a smaller circle inside okay so we have divided divided this sphere into two parts this thick shell okay the region between blue and red and this a smaller sphere okay the blue region so in order to calculate a field at say this point okay and the field at this point will be equal at least in magnitude to this point this point okay because the entire situation is spherically symmetric so no matter, so if you rotate you are not changing you are not really changing anything apart from the direction so the magnitude has to remain the same now we calculate the field at this point due to this thick shell and due to this solid sphere it is smaller so we'll be using a fact that i have shown in my previous videos that the field okay so you have this due to this a sphere okay a hollow shell so the field at any point inside this shell will be equal to 0 okay so g inside is equal to 0 now what if i create another shell okay something like this so the field due to this one at any point at this any point will be 0 the field due to blue shell will also be equal to 0 so the field due to both of them will be equal to 0 and now you can extend this argument you can construct as many hollow shells as you like the field you do any of these inside will be zero okay now you can apply the same logic in this situation as well we can uh, divide this thick shell into very small such hollow shells okay so you have this shell okay and then at a very small distance away from this you have another shell okay it goes on another one okay a and so on so uh, a lot large amount of very thin shells now the field due to this one at at this point okay will be zero because this point is inside a sh this shell the field due to this one is also zero this one is also zero and the field due to all these hollow shells will be zero which in turn means that the field due to the entire region this region is zero so we only need to consider the blue region okay and this one is easy to calculate okay it's just a sphere having some mass let's say small m and a radius small r and we need to calculate the gravitational field at its surface okay and this is a pretty easy job to do okay. so g at uh, at any at any point is g the mass okay divided by your radius square okay so if, if you are it's if it's a point or at any hollow body in this case a solid sphere now we'll calculate the mass using our assumption that the density is uniform so for example it's a planet having a uniform density so the density rho is the same for any volume element okay so it will be m by volume 4 by 3 pi r cube okay and this has to be the same density of this blue region also so we have m divided by 4 by 3 pi small r cube okay 
so 4 by 3 and 4 by 3 pi can, uh, cancel each other out so we are left with m small m equal to m r cube divided by capital r cube so basically found out the mass in terms of the original mass the mass of this entire sphere and the radius of your this blue sphere and the uh, larger radius okay this one is all we just put m and r into our equation here we are left with g equal to g divided by radius square radius in this case we will take small r into mass mass is capital m r cube upon uh, capital r cube okay now of course this has to be minus if you are considering the entire vector minus in r cap direction but we are considering the magnitudes in this equation okay so we are left with g at a point inside okay is equal to g m r divided by r cube okay the r square cancels out with r square leaving it r this is our uh, magnitude of the gravitational field at a distance small r okay and obviously small r is lesser than r now if you put r equal to 0 this means that you are calculating the point uh, field at right at the center okay if you put r equal to 0 you get that g is also equal to 0 and this makes sense uh, this mass is being equally attracted in all directions okay so all of these fields cancel out leaving the field net field equal to 0 all right and of course if you are at a point it doesn't have a mass and mass is also 0 now another way to uh, represent this point the, the location of this point is to measure the depth from its surface okay capital sorry d so we get r plus d as your radius capital r okay and we'll just replace r with in terms of d so r will be capital r minus d so your g inside be equal to gm upon r cube r minus d now i want you to take only one r into the bracket leaving r square behind so you are left with gm r square okay r divided by capital r, r capital r by r gives 1 minus small d by r okay and this term is nothing but the gravitational field intensity at the surface of this planet right here okay g capital m is the mass of this entire planet and r is the radius of this entire planet so we can write this as your g at surface sur for short now this gives us another relation with your g inside okay is equal to g at surface times 1 minus d upon r so if you want to calculate your field at a and at some depth okay you can measure this using a pendulum and if you want to calculate at any depth you just plug in your d and you will get your field it's very helpful in problems when in involving ratios when we want to calculate the ratio of fields at different places so that's all for today thanks for watching i hope you liked it